Alright, these are the top three games everybody should beat. First one being Cuphead, an extremely difficult game. Reason being is that it is so unpredictable, you never really know what's going to happen. You've got enemies throwing an array of attacks at you. Um, you've got to react to things in real time just to be able to get out of the way and land attacks of your own. Apparently, around 12.5% of people have completed the game on normal, according to Steam. And I think it's like 7% on Xbox, so yeah, you can actually see how hard this game is. Next one is Dark Souls 3. Apparently 48.3% have been the game. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate that is. On PS4, it's close to 40%, so maybe it is accurate. Um, but yeah, interestingly, only around 69% of people have actually beat the second boss. That's like a drop-off rate of 30%. So, from the start of the game to the second boss, 30% of people have quit. Or just haven't beat the second boss, which is unbelievable. Um, and then it gets less and less, only about, I think 57% beat the first Lord of Cinder, which is astonishing. Yeah, the drop-off rate is crazy for Dark Souls 3. Um, and yeah, funny, weirdly enough, there is no trophy for beating the Soul of Cinder, which there should be, because that guy is a son of a bitch to beat. Um, anyway, so last one is Sekiro, um, this game came out last year. I think, man, it's really hard to get stats on these games, uh, but I think around 35% of people have beaten the game on PS4. Uh, one of the bosses is called the Corrupted Monk. Around 35.3% of players have beaten him. I think that's about halfway through the game, but I can only assume, you know, around 30-35% of people have completed the game. Um, and yeah, this is another tough game. Kind of a Dark Souls-like game with diff slightly similar mechanics. Um, and yeah, I think yeah, I think you should beat all these games because I think it does teach you to be a better gamer and yeah, you can actually uh, learn some skills from it. That's about it.